In 2013, Rory McIlroy was one of the tour's top 10 leaders in driving distance, but in that group, he was also one of the smallest, almost three and a half inches shorter and 26 pounds lighter than the average. So how does the golfer Rory's size generate so much power and length off the tee? To find out, we brought the two-time major winner and former world number one into the ESPN Sports Science Lab. What's your secret to generating so much power? I think my power comes from my rotational speed. I think that's the thing where I have maybe an advantage over most of the guys. Distance is achieved through what's called the kinetic chain, drawing energy up from the ground through the legs and torso into the arms and down the club. In the middle of that kinetic chain are two key links, the hips and shoulders. The separation between these two planes, known as the X factor, is often considered a major contributor to distance. For example, the average amateur turns his hips 50 degrees and his shoulders 90 degrees for an X factor of 40. Rory's hip and shoulder turns, on the other hand, create an angle that's 60% larger. However, compared to other pros, Rory's X Factor is actually below average. But what's not below average is how he accelerates through the links in the chain. Most amateurs rotate their hips at an angular velocity of about 350 degrees per second. Rory's peak at more than 700 degrees per second. That's 30% faster than the average pro. And speed climbs through the kinetic chain. While average pros turn their shoulders at 720 degrees per second, Rory's top over 900. Typical pro arm speed, about 1,200 degrees per second. Rory's 1,400. And out at the end of the chain is one of the fastest club head speeds on tour, averaging more than 121 miles per hour. Ultimately, the real key to Rory's driving is in his transmission, meaning how quickly he shifts through the gears to top speed. He goes from zero to more than 121 miles per hour in only 239 milliseconds. That's a faster acceleration than a top fuel dragster. And Rory's not just crazy long, he's crazy long a lot. Last year, almost 44% of his drives were over 300 yards, and he led the tour in drives between 300 and 320 yards. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.